Yeah. You're gonna be famous after this. So I get to quote the prophet son. You could if there were any. We should probably go. Here you come in. One minute. I'll make sure. Thank you. Right, today we are going to be learning about the teenage body. Changes that happen within your body as Okay, this is Miss Stone, this is our officer inspector. I would like you to be as well behaved and fabulous as you normally have. Please, sorry, wait a Well, this is the third time you've been late to my lesson this week. Take your seat, you've got a detention after school, okay? Right, where were we? What are you on here for then? Earrings. How stupid is that? I know. I think we should be allowed to wear what we want. Miss Corman stuck me in here because some little kids said I had energy drink. Did you? Yeah. So? It's Mr Nolan. Ever since he took over there's been stupid new rules every week. I know. School's gone massively downhill. It's just teachers. They're all on mad power trips because they've never got to live out their dreams. I'm missing dancing now because of this. What kind of dancing do you do? I don't think she was talking to you. That's okay. I do tap dancing on Monday. I do ballet too. Well, I bet you're really good. I'll take you dancing. Oh yeah. You're making a film, aren't you, Tom? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's like the Wicker Man meets Independence Day. Can I be in it? I've always wanted to be in a film. We filmed most of it, but maybe we could put you in a small scene somewhere. What are you two talking about? Megan wants to be in my film. Hey, maybe you should be in it too. I thought you were great in Phantom. I didn't know you saw it. Hardly anyone turned up. Was it any good? Yeah, Sarah was amazing. She's a really good singer. You should definitely be in my film, Sarah. I don't know about that. Free. It's more than you do. You want to shut up, you do, unless you're looking for a smack. It's quiet enough, Alex. When you all got homework to be doing or something, since she's not social. Stop it, it's a right loser. I'm not going to tell you again. You can come back tomorrow for that. He hasn't even done anything. He didn't mean it, sir. Oh, so this is how we show respect, is it? I'll tell you what, we'll have all four of you back. I'm definitely not going. Why are you going? Because I'm going class riding with that. Yeah. Hi, Tom. How's your editing going? Oh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Me and Josh are almost done. We've got it all under our belts. That's good, then. Yeah. Anyway, I, I have to go. See you in detention. I'm not going to detention, I've got a head teacher. Why? Because I took salt into the dining hall. Mr Nolan caught me and he went mental. I mean, those chips are disgusting. Yeah. It was only like one of those little packet. I don't get what the big deal is. Yeah, it's pretty rubbish. Anyway, bye. I know all about Tom. I really don't think there's anything to worry about there. I still think it's worth keeping on in there. I think it's just a coincidence. I'm more concerned with this Ofsted inspector. Can you keep an eye on her? Miss just come to a portal! Sorry. Who's that? 
Just somebody that fancies me. Oh, bless. Tell me about this business with Mr. Loomis. Oh, it's fine. Someone just got the wrong end of the stick. Hmm, I see. You know, six months isn't a very long time. I mean, if you did uh, imagine something, after all, you, you did lose your dad. Honestly, I'm fine. I just made it up for my film. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, but we're here to help. If you need someone to talk to. Okay. Can I go now? Shakespeare. What Shakespeare plays can you tell me the name of? <laughs> Tempest. The Tempest. Do you know what The Tempest is about? Fear. It is about a shipwreck. It is about a shipwreck. Any other Shakespeare plays that we know? Janine. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, which is the one we're studying. Do you know anything about Romeo and Juliet? Tom. A note for you. Mr. Nolan would like to see you in the library. Are you all waiting for Mr. Nolan? Do you know what he wants us for? It better not be any more detention. He's probably with us, if you pray with us. Right, Tom? <sighs> Don't laugh. When is Mr. Nolan getting here? I made the nails. I did student reception. What? I'm wasting my time for you. I have to show you something. All of you, watch this. After the tension last night, I saw Mason Owen taking a load of bins into his office, so I had a look what he was doing. Stupid jokes, Tom. I've never seen it before. I knew there were aliens. Well, this is Derbyshire. What would aliens want here? Cows? I don't know, but it's not just portals. I saw Mr. Loomis vaporise Miss Stone. Why didn't you say anything? Why do you think? You lot already thought I was crazy. I mean, it makes perfect sense to come here, really. No one expects aliens in the countryside. What can we do? Kill him. We can't have aliens running the school. It's bad enough when we get supply teachers in. How are we going to kill him? It's not like we can pop down the coat from an AK-47. No, we have to be smarter than that. Think of anything they've done that's weird. What good's that? All teachers are weird. What about... Soul? That's got to be it. Don't forget Red Bull too. What if you're wrong? They could just kill us. Can't we tell the police? Who's going to believe us? No one. Get to the shops, load up on Red Bull and energy drinks and salt and anything you can find. We'll take them out ourselves. Mr. Lewis? Megan? Come in the hymn works you please, I've lost mine. Chocolate and nuts. Do you know what they've called it? No. Pharaoh Russian. You do for the beach up there. <laughs> hmm. 
Did you post something? Yes. Constantly call you, constantly put you down in front of your so called friends. Are we gonna kill some aliens or what? Ah! Nice one. Freeze! Stop, stop, we're here to save you. Shut up, baby, scum. Well, actually, I'm more of a robot, but our masters on our planet have been sent us here to capture all you humans and take you back and enslave you. What? But we don't want to do that. We have got a plan. We're going to take DNA samples back with us and we're going to grow our own human population to do the work. And then we don't have to capture everybody. We don't have to enslave the whole human population. So all we need are some samples of DNA from cheek cells. This is why school is so fantastic because there's freshly chewed gum all over the place which we can send back home and start growing our humans. Oh. So you see, if you kill me now, all that's going to happen is the entire human population is going to be enslaved and taken back to our home planet. Kill him! No, 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 no. Stop! Don't kill him! Why not? He's on our side! No he isn't! Yes he is! They're all aliens, they're all going to kill us in the end! You don't understand! The, the population was going to enslave us, he wants to save us by growing coffees. Everything went back to normal. People just believed all the teachers left for new jobs. It's hard to believe what really happened, even for us. Nothing changed. Well, almost nothing.
I mean, no one expects aliens in the countryside. What can we do? Kill them, we can't have teachers running the school. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Can't have teachers running the school. It's bad enough for aliens. <laughs> <laughs>